In today's video, I'm going to walk you guys through the step-by-step -step process on how to go about setting up a PayPal account. Right now, I'm on PayPal's homepage, and I'll link the PayPal website right at the top of the video description if you want to click on that link to access paypal.com. So the first thing that you need to decide is whether you're gonna go with a personal account or a business account. The vast majority of you guys are probably gonna be going with the personal account. Now for those who might wanna go with a business account, it's gonna be if you're selling goods and services with this PayPal account, or if you're gonna be accepting donations, those are the situations where you probably wanna go with that business PayPal. But the personal account is gonna be great for buying goods and services yourself online, as well as having you get the opportunity to transfer funds between your own PayPal account and friends and family at no fee charge to you when you're transferring those funds. It's also a great way to hook up a credit card, a debit card, a bank account, all to that PayPal account. So you have different options for paying for things online. You can also transfer funds around between those accounts as well. So a personal account is probably what the majority of you guys are going to go with. So we're going to go ahead and click sign up for free. So on this page, what you need to do is type in your legal first name, your legal last name, as well as the email that you want associated with your PayPal account, a password. You need to confirm that password and then click next. So I'm going to go through all these steps myself and then take you over to the next page. Then on the next page, what you're going to want to do is type in your personal address, the city, the state, the zip code, and then also a phone number, whether it's your home phone number or mobile phone number. And then you need to go through, read over the e-communication delivery policy, the user agreement and privacy statement if you'd like to do that. And then you need to check this box and then you go ahead and click agree and create account. So I'm going to go through these steps and take you to the next screen that you'll get after this one. So then on this page, it gives us the option where we can either link a debit card, a credit card, or down here kind of hidden at the bottom, it gives you the option to link a bank account. Instead, it's going to be up to you which you decide to link. I myself with this account am going to link a debit card. So I'm going to enter in my information in terms of the debit card number right here, the expiration date, as well as the CSC. Now the billing address it's going to automatically fill in with whatever you filled in as your address earlier on in this process. Now, if your billing address is different than your home address that you used in that earlier portion of this application, then you can change that in this area. But as soon as you've entered in that information, you can go ahead and click link card and then we'll take you on over to the next page. So I linked my card. It took me over to the next page with a nice green check mark here showing that it was successful in linking that card. And now everything is set up, ready to use for shopping and sending money. There's a ton of different things that you can use with a PayPal account. If you scroll down to the bottom, click on go to your account and it will actually officially take you to your brand new PayPal account page. And that's pretty much it. So there's a ton of different things that you can do with a PayPal account. And I'm going to make a series of a ton of different videos showing you all the different things that you can utilize with PayPal. You can check those out over on my YouTube channel. And I recommend subscribing for more content in the future. I appreciate you guys stopping by and hope to see you back here for future videos.